Hello and welcome to Those Random Thoughts. In this video, we're going to talk about how cars affect air pollution. We discuss all different types of entertaining topics, so if you like to have fun and learn, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So let's get started. Have you ever been in an open vehicle, stuck in traffic for a long time? Have you ever felt after a while? Surely, the traffic irritates you or probably angers you. But along with that, don't you sometimes feel a little bit of dizziness? Now, most of what you might know why that happens, it's because we're inhaling the fumes of the vehicle exhaust. Just imagine if just 20 minutes of inhalation can make you feel dizzy, what would hours of inhaling these fumes do to your body? If we take a look at this objectively, the car exhaust has carbon monoxide in it. Inhaling it in little quantity is fine, but has negligible effect on your body. But as the concentration increases, it can cause nausea and dizziness. So if you're a chauffeur by profession, or maybe a truck driver and end up spending a lot of time on busy roads, you might feel extremely fatigued at the end of the day. That's not only because driving tires you, but mostly because you've inhaled a lot of toxic fumes. Did you know that there's something called as carbon monoxide poisoning and inhaling excessive quantities of this gas can even kill you? With efforts being made in the direction of a sustainable future, it is a known fact that one of the major factors causing harm to the environment is pollution, with air pollution being a raging issue. We know that vehicles cause pollution, but how much exactly? What impact does it have on us? What hazards has vehicular pollution resulted in? What are the alternatives? Stay tuned to find out. Let's first start with the basics. What exactly is air pollution? Air pollution is the presence of impurities or substances in the air, which are present in such excessive amounts that they might potentially be harmful to humans. We've seen thick black fumes being released from factory chimneys and wondered whether it will harm us, especially people living in nearby neighborhoods. But did you know that the pollution caused by cars is just as much harmful as the industrial air pollution caused by factories? When the engine is turned on, the gasoline in the car is burned to produce energy. But when gasoline is burned, pollutants are emitted into the environment. Even at a petrol pump when we're filling gas, some pollutants might escape into the atmosphere and cause pollution. What are these pollutants? Essentially, the major pollutants released by car exhausts are carbon monoxide, particulate matter, and nitrogen dioxide. As we talked about earlier, carbon monoxide poisoning can prove to be fatal. Why? A molecule on our red blood cells called hemoglobin is involved in this. Normally, hemoglobin carries oxygen to different parts of your body. The issue is that hemoglobin can also form a complex with carbon monoxide. So when you're inhaling toxic fumes of the car exhaust, the carbon monoxide you inhale literally blocks the red blood cells and prevent oxygen from reaching vital parts of your body such as the heart, lungs, and brain. And almost 95% of carbon monoxide emissions in cities come from vehicles. Particulate matter is composed of solid particles and liquid vapors that results in what we call smog. Smog is the thick poisonous fog that appears when fog mixes with these harmful substances. Nitrogen dioxide is another gas that can be deadly if inhaled in large quantities. Large amounts of this gas can lead to inflammation of the respiratory tract. In smaller quantities, it might cause temporary shortness of breath and cough. However, prolonged exposure can lead to burns, spasms, swelling of tissues in the throat, upper airway obstruction, and in some cases, death. Also, when gasoline is burnt, the nitrogen and oxygen react with each other to form many other nitrogen oxides. When some of the nitrogen oxides react with sunlight, they form ozone. Hmm, ozone is good, isn't it? It protects us from the harmful rays of the sun, so what's the issue? Ozone formed high up in the atmosphere doesn't physically interact with the human body. When it is formed closer to the Earth's surface, as in case of vehicle exhausts, it can prove to be very harmful to humans. When inhaled, ozone can cause damage to the lungs. It can cause chest pain, coughing, shortness of breath, and throat irritation. Wow, you probably didn't anticipate how harmful could driving your car every day could end up being in the long run, not only for you, but also your family and society in general. Driving is fun, of course not when you're going to work early in the morning, but when you step out for a leisurely drive, you want to travel miles and explore various places, don't you? But every time you step out for that fun ride, you're increasing health-related risks for yourself. If you're living near highways or main roads, the risk becomes all the more magnified for you. What kind of risks, you might ask? As we saw earlier, the pollution caused by cars can result in some hazardous health issues. It might lead to severe health complications, such as asthma, eye irritation, 
poisoning, heart diseases, and even cancer. Not only is the person inhaling the polluted air at a risk, but also is the fetus in her womb. The child might suffer from birth defects. The pollutants might result in reduced lung capacity and increased susceptibility to bronchitis and pneumonia. Sounds like a lot of damage, but we're not done yet. Here's the most important part. The greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide that are emitted from car pollution lead to global warming. According to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the combined land and ocean temperature has increased the average temperature of land and ocean combined by over 1.76 degrees Fahrenheit in the year 2020. 2020 was also the hottest year on record on the planet. You might be wondering, well, a few degrees here and there shouldn't make a huge difference. The truth is that they do, and they make a huge enough difference to increase the sea level. Even a few degrees hotter than normal can have a great impact on the glaciers and result in the melting of glaciers. And where does all that glacier water go? To the sea! With the increasing sea level, many cities on the coasts are in danger of becoming submerged underwater. This will displace millions of people and destroy a lot of wildlife as well. The potential dangers of global warming are known to many, but the efforts to reduce it are taken by few. We've only been focusing on the air pollution caused by cars, but cars can generate many other forms of pollution as well, such as water pollution and noise pollution. If you want to know more about this, do let us know in the comments section below and we will make another video to help spread awareness. You probably might be wondering, all of this just because I chose to drive from home to office? The pollution that you have caused might only be a drop in the ocean, but as the old adage goes, every drop goes into making the ocean. So it's imperative that we stay aware and educated. After all, Earth is our home and we want to preserve it in its best form possible for future generations. So, how can you contribute towards reducing car pollution? The most obvious thing would be to stop driving, but that's not practical. So what we'd suggest is to take baby steps. Opt for public transportation and avoid driving in your private vehicle as much as possible. Go in for carpool or just take the bus. Another thing that you can do is use an electric vehicle instead. Electric vehicles are easier to maintain and with increasing fuel prices, EVs seem to be a lot more affordable overall. You can also choose to walk or ride a cycle to nearby places. This is so much healthier for you and really contributes towards reducing pollution. You can also opt for a cleaner fuel alternative such as low sulfur gasoline. What measures have you taken to contribute towards reducing air pollution? Do let us know in the comments section below. So that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.